So before we get into the exciting news today, I wanted to show you guys something that I thought was pretty funny. So normally I look for the posts and I look at the tags like the Princess Connect one down here. However, today when I clicked this Princess Connect tag, it led me to this page which had a Demon Slayer on it. I was like, what? I thought it was pretty funny, but actually there is a reason for it. And it's just some news I wanted to share. In a nutshell, all I can say is pretty much Precon Season 2 is doing well. If you guys have not watched it, then go watch it. However, if you guys have watched it, don't spoil it for me in the comments. I haven't actually watched it. I'm waiting for it all to come out. But yeah, I just found it so freaking funny when I clicked onto the Precon tag and then it was like, oh yeah, Precon, 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 Precon. Demon Slayer? Anyway, hi. Welcome back to another Princess Connect video. My name is Lace and today we're going to be talking about the new update. Probably going to be my favorite update for a very, very long time because we have the introduction of my favorite character, Weemi. And so you guys already know the drill. We're going to go through the updates. We're going to see if there are any nuances, anything that we should like keep our eye out on. But otherwise, I am going to jump right into this video. So as you can see, we've got Muimi up here coming on February 1st, 11 p.m. Now, this Princess Gala banner is going to be a little bit different from the previous ones as well as the ones that come after. And the main difference is that this one is going to last for two weeks. As you can see over here, at Feb 1 all the way to Feb 14. So all I can say is don't get used to this idea. This is very much like an anniversary thing, especially because of the free pulls. Two weeks to draw her. If you don't, then you're probably going to be going to pity because your luck is that crap. <sighs> oh no, please no Mimi. But for Mimi, I'd pity her and then pity her again. Do not quote me on that because I wouldn't actually do it, but it's a thought that counts, right? Okay, so that's the first thing. This pre-gala is going to last for two weeks. The second thing is that this Muimi banner, I just wanted to show you guys this chart over here. And so what this chart shows us, for you guys who haven't seen this before, it is actually a breakdown of the pre-fez rate. So let me make this very, very clear. On the right-hand side of each banner, you'll see the pink box. It's 5%. What this means is that you always have a 5% chance to hit a three-star unit. Now, for every one of these pre-gala banners, you will always have a 0.7% chance to get the rate up unit. This has not changed. What has changed and will continue to change are the rate ups for each of the pre-gala units themselves. So I'm talking about Christina as well as Muimi. So if you guys quickly have a look at this one over here, the New Year's Yui banner, Christina has a 0.35% chance of showing up as the rate up unit. However, on the Muimi banner, Christina is actually part of the 4.3% that makes up the rest of the three star pool. And so what that means is that whilst you can technically get Christina from the pool, you are actually just as likely to get like an Iyo or a Hatsune or a Makoto, stuff like that. So if you are going into the Muimi banner looking for a Christina, like uh, just be ready to spark, let's put it that way. And so as always, I will drop this chart down into the description, but like just remember that these things happen. So the next one, the o Kuka banner is going to have Muimi diluted into the main three star pool. All right, so with that out of the way, let's come back over here where we can look at our cute little Muimi. And today I am not going to evaluate Muimi. The reason why is because I actually have already evaluated her in the Valentine Shizuru versus Muimi video, which I will link uh, over there or over there. I will link somewhere. I don't know how YouTube works, okay? Guys, I know it's been a freaking year, but it's been a long year, okay? Okay, coming back to it, Princess Gala, Muimi, double three star draw rates. If you are fishing for DAs, this is probably the banner to look at. But as always, if you do get the rate up unit Muimi, you stop there. Of course, unless there are a daily free 10 draws, which is what this is about to announce. So, daily free 10 draws, 14 days, running across the Gala banner, 140 pulls already sunk in as a rebate from Crunchyroll. And so hopefully you guys will have prepared the remaining 160 in the case that you spark. I'm just saying, maybe there's a chance you'll spark, you know, like I did for New Year's Yui. Anyway, so there are a few nuances on this one. So let me have a look at where it starts to one. So that's 1st of February, 1300 UTC. If I come up a little bit over here, you'll see that the Muimi banner starts at 11 p.m. And so I think on the first day, it might look like you can get 10 V Shizuru pulls, but I'm like 99% sure that if you wait until the Muimi banner comes out, we can spend those 10 pulls onto this pre-gala banner instead. So that is obviously what I recommend because Mumi's so cute, right? And so just watch out for that one. I am not actually 100% sure because these timings, these US timings always got me running in circles, but yeah. In a nutshell, when the daily free 10 draws come and it's on the V Shizuru banner and you're able to actually wait until it turns into Mumi banner, you should probably be waiting for the Mumi banner to come. And so yeah, that's the first 
kind of like warning for this one. The second one is actually on the end date. So you guys know that these daily free 10 draws are going to overlap with the entirety of the Mwimi banner. Now for a lot of different people, there are going to be some procrastinators. All I can say is don't procrastinate because you might lose the 140 rolls here, right? And all I'm really trying to say is that after you've done your 140 free draws, it's probably worth it to get Mwimi then and there so that you don't forget. That's all. I'm not saying that it happened to one of us. I'm not saying that it almost happened to one of us. And so let's move on. Okay, so next we've got the three star guaranteed premium gacha limited one time offer. It feels like these limited one time offers are, you know, happening a lot more than one time. But these are decent, right? Because the rate up characters are actually included in this three star guarantee premium. Just keep in mind that your chance of getting Mwimi through this thing is the same chance of getting Makoto or Shizuru, for example. Pretty good thing. I think it's a pretty reasonable spend. And I definitely know a couple of very lucky people who managed to pull New Year's Hiyori last time from this thing. Don't take that as me encouraging you to like try this. Because like I said, the rates are actually not skewed towards the character you want. So, uh, yeah. All right, and so now that we're down here on the game update news, we've got new Area 21 Chapter 11 episodes on one to five. A lot of great stuff, but like this is the one I want to really talk to you guys about because we're going to see potentially a lot of breaking. So with the introduction of rank 12 equipment 5, so that includes the middle left now, the middle left is always a piece of armor. And so you guys can already tell where we're going with this. For the majority of your DPSs, you don't want to be actually equipping that piece of armor. If I come over to Mars's recommendation, we'll see that he has actually not updated his spreadsheet. All right, let's try somebody else. And so it looks like Miss Nyara also did not update her spreadsheet yet. I think I gotta get my hands dirty for once, which is pretty funny. All right, and so here we are on pre-calc. Let me just select a random character. So let's say Erika, because she is going to have a lot of screen time from now on. Let's go all the way up to rank 12 and then have a look at this guy over here. But before that, let me do a sneaky change over to the JP version so we can actually see that equipment. All right, so as you can see here, we've got 12.5 Erika, and this is going to introduce this booty over here. So if I quickly toggle this booty, you'll see that she will be gaining physical attack, physical defense, magic defense, phys crit rate, HP, and the defensive stats are going to be affecting the effective physical and magical HP. What I don't see changing is the TP boost or the TP retain. And so some would argue that it's actually reasonable to equip these boots because of the physical crit rate as well as the physical attack that it's giving. And so I'm going to stop that now because my fingers hurt and my RSI is very, very severe. On the other hand, we're also getting a whole bunch of HP as well as physical and magical defense. So that is always going to be particularly potentially a brick. If I come over to this sheet over here, I think this is Miss Nyara. So Erika, and it says that her next rank up is up to 12.5. This time, I'm actually going to disagree because of the extra HP and the defenses. And just a quick refresher on the TP system, defensive stats are always going to like inhibit your TP gain. More defensive stats from HP and defenses are going to typically mean less TP gain. So with that kind of logic there, you can see why I would leave my Erika at 12.4. So just like this. Now, we also know that middle left is always a tanky item, right? So this means that it is going to be the rise of the tanks again, like every single patch or like every few patches, this kind of thing happens. So if you are a PVP player, expect that the tanks are probably going to be a little bit tankier. So let me just put up everyone's favorite physical tank. As you can see this guy over here, she's going to be getting HP, physical defense, magic defense, dodge. And so you can see her effective HP is going up by 2k each. And that was not even on max refine, right? Like remember that the max refine actually doubled the stats of the equipment piece. Tank meta, love it or hate it, it is what it is. Let's let let's put it that way. However, with all of that being said, let's come back over here and keep moving on. So exciting stuff ahead. We've got Yui, Shinobu, Tomo hard shards coming through. And honestly, seeing this one over here, as well as the Muimi update, we're going to start thinking about six star units. However, of course, I will come out with something a little bit more detailed than just like mentioning, oh, six stars are common. So if you guys have not subbed yet, you guys already know what to do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, aside from that, we have a level cap increase from 121 to 124. However, I wanted to mention this sentence over here because it's pretty funny. With the addition of new heroines and new content, you'll want to start stocking up on mana and EXP pots now. It's true. It is very true because especially if you're unlocking and upgrading your UEs, you're probably going to be ultra, ultra mana starved. So yeah, they know like... Crunchyroll knows. Okay, let's move on to February Tower of Luna. Nothing really much to be said about here. As always, I'll be leeching like the leech I am off of Chocolate's Guides. And if not, I will be leeching off of the Billy Billy CN bros. So, <laughs> 
Oh, I'm a scumbag. Nothing new coming on here. We've got 20 floors to complete as well as a new EX. You guys already know we're probably going to get about like four hearts or so. You guys are probably desperate for them. I know I am. But other than that, it's going to be Grotto Quest times two. However, for some reason, they didn't make this a little bit bigger, but they are also unlocking level seven of both Grotto Quests. It's going to be good. It's going to be great, actually. However, you got to be past main quest 10-1 before you can actually unlock this. So make sure you get there, guys. All right. So after that, we have the special update number two. Why is this at the bottom of the freaking update post? I told you guys, right? Special update one. There has got to be a special update two. Uh, I mean, just call me Einstein at this point. Just call me a freaking prophet. However, with that being said, that is it. That is it for this update. And so now it's time to turn the question to you guys. All right. You guys, you guys are hyped, right? You guys are hyped up for Muimi because she is the cutest unit in the game. She is, right? Like, look at that face. Muimi is the cutest unit in the game. And if you guys do disagree with me, then, well, first of all, you guys have trash taste. But second of all, you tell me who your bias is. If it's not Muimi, who is the lucky soul? Who is your favorite character in Princess Connect? Because Muimi is my favorite character. So let me know down in the comments below. And I would really appreciate it if you did leave a comment because it means you've watched up until the end of the video. And so thank you guys so much. Also, if you did like this video, please consider a like. And if you did want to see more, please consider a sub. But as your girl Muimi once said, all good things must come to an end. And so thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.